Shalom, my precious brothers, sisters, in waiting for our Lord, His return and His glorious day, and waiting for another miracle of healing and salvation. And Lord set up this YouTube ministry in 2020. Uh, on Easter Sunday, and this Easter we already uh, celebrated end of March, but in Israel the uh, Passover was only last week, um, last Monday sunset till Tuesday sunset, but exactly in four years' time, uh, same uh, Passover, within four years' time, I saw subscribers turn to 500 and I praise the Lord, I'm nothing without His, without His work, without His mystery, miracle and His sign, His revelation through dreams, without His guidance, I am nothing as He revealed what is coming before pandemic. 2018, and he debuted since 2016 about this uh, climate change. People call it climate change, but he showed me clearly it's from sun, sun's activity. And he spoke saying, tell people when you saw, so that I have to tell today again, because I saw news this morning and the science, scientists said this is the time, the season of a storm, season of a hurricane, similar way, and sun's activity every 11 years, they have this unusual uh, activity. We have more, we see maxima, maximum solar activity, and they said through the solar storm, we may cause, we may see face black out, and this is normal. Every eleven years, we see this max, maximum solar activity, but I believe this is wrong. This is not normal because God is revealing His anger, and God is waking up His children on us. God set up alarm to wake us up, especially God's children. So that we heard from the scientists that sun is going to flip over. And sun, if sun flip over, sun's magnetic pole, if sun's flip over this year, that's what they, what, what they said. But they speak like um, this is normal, but I believe it will cause, it will cause plague out, it will cause disaster on us. And I believe that is what Saint John saw, he, he wrote in the book of Revelation. He saw the sun scorching on us, inhabitants. And people are burnt burn, burn up, but they didn't repent even if they were under that God's cause, under the heat. They, they cause God and they don't repent because they receive the mark of beast. And so in my dream, this dream God, God repeated many times since 2016, same dream. It was middle of the look like the it was it wasn't winter. It was I saw the green field, I saw flowers. It could be spring or it could be summer. It was dried, warm weather, and I was walking in the field and I saw in the middle of the day sun become darker like an eclipse become totally dark and I screamed as I, I, I shouted people 
Lord is coming. That dream, Lord repeated on me so that I know that's the sign. His return, as Jesus met to chapter 24, just before my return, sun will turn black and moon turn blood and star will fall down from the, from the heaven. That's the last sign. And Lord show us through a scientist, sun's magnetic pole will flip over the sea of means. Is this the year? Is this the sign of Jesus' his return? So that we have to wake up people. But why people are asleep? They, they are deceived by wrong, wrong teaching. And the January always, Lord, uh, show me what is happening, his plan for the year. 2022, in January, first, first week, he showed two suns in the sky. And second sun was moving really fast around the sky and scorched the fire on us. That was 2022. We know all those wild fire in Canada, in France and in my country, South Korea as well. And 2023 or so, he showed me the third temple and the Israel, those Levite, they prepared third temple since 2013 or 15, they already started. And it will be really quickly they will build since after the burnt offering of Red Hyper and the time of the, the Antichrist will appear. And I share through several videos for the last couple of weeks, the Antichrist will come out from tribe of Dan as these two disciples of uh, apostles. They heard from directly from apostles what they were taught it's that's why the book of revelation chapter 11 there's a 12 tribes tribes written in book of revelation chapter 11 but we don't see the dawn because dawn is antichrist will come out and the, the jacob prophesied about his son, the Dan, Dan is the, the viper, will strike the heel of the horses. And exactly, God prophesied to Adam and Eve about the Satan, their destiny, they will, they will strike uh, the man's, man's heel. But the Messiah, the descendant of Adam, the second Adam, second Adam, will strike the Satan, so the snake head. So that prophecy is linked to, linked to Jacob's, and linked to the book of Revelation. We saw there's no tribe of Dan in chapter 11. So the Antichrist will come out from the Jewish uh, he is Jewish and he will be, like, he will be, uh, he will look after, he will protect Israel from 10 nations and Antichrist will, um, will, will, will conquer three nations, including Egypt and uh, Sudan and Ethiopia. So those and Libya, and then to, uh, one of the nations, the Jordan, will worship Antichrist. That's the prophecies they were taught through apostles in the second century. And now, what I saw is, those, so this year, in January, Lord revealed to me about God's judgment upon um, 
the sect and cult in Christianity, including Roman Empire. So their sin will, will be exposed. God will open, God will expose their sin. So the worshiper have to flee. And last week I had a dream. I was very busy for my calling, my ministry. And those people who are in that cult ask me, make some time for us. And I was helping them. Then the, they have a pen, bull pen. When they write a pen, write a letter, I saw creepy snake coming out their pen. So they were taught by wrong, false prophet, false messiah. And I changed their ink. That's the dream. So that I, I have to speak about what's the origin of cult, origin of those set. Actually, it, it from, it, it's from very early century, second century. Several popes, they doubted about Trinity so that Apostle John even met them and rebuked them because they were confused. Even just second century, even Apostle is still alive. And the one of the Pope uh, in my record, uh, the 15th, Callistus, the Pope Callistus, he He taught a um, student in their uh, Catholic school, like a theology school. He taught students you could enjoy indulgence in pleasure. This is wrong teaching. Jesus condemned Pharisees, Sadducees, those teachers of the law. Jesus condemned them. You clean only outside, but inside you have a full of greed and self-indulgence. That was their sin. But Paul Calitius in the third century, he said, you can enjoy your indulgence. And he allowed the student fornication, it's okay. And he said, your sins are forgiven by me. He is not he is not he is not Christ, but he said you are your sin forgiven by by me. So that even second south century, the Pope, those Catholic leaders were corrupted. They taught wrong teaching. And we know the Pope 2015 changed Ten Commandment. That he touched Ten Commandment to protect gay and lesbian, so that who have that authority? God's, God's command, and Jesus taught the truth. We have to speak the truth, and we have to rescue them, those worshippers, because they believe, Catholic believers, they believe purgatory. That means they don't make effort. Those people who died in their family members, their friends and relatives, neighbors, they they keep more money to to uh, to Catholic Church for their redemption for the death. They already died. They passed, they finished last breed. There's no more, there's no more chance to be saved. After last breed, there will be judgment. We don't have, there's no, there's no opportunity chance to get redeemed by their our our offering any money payment so this poetry is totally wrong teaching 
And I know several uh, cults in South Korea, they told similar purgatory. They said there are salvation for other religion. So that those people believe us, they are, they are pretty much comfortable. They don't preach gospel to other people who believe in other religion. So they don't rescue them. They don't have the urgency because they, they will have their own salvation. Those Buddhist, Hindu, Hindu, Hinduist, those people have their own salvation. They believe that similar way of purgatory. So that if they don't know the truth, even if they are, they are believers, Catholic believers, for 20 years, 30 years, they attend, attend the service. They thought when they, their attendance will, will, will give them salvation. If they have a good attendance, they thought they will go to heaven. That's not, that's not the truth. Sunday service is part of our our faithful life, our Christian life, it's part of it. And Jesus said, be ready, wash your comment. Our white linen comment is act of righteousness written in the book of Revelation. What is act of righteousness? Jesus taught us through the parable of Samaritan, good Samaritan. In the parable of um, Matthew chapter 25, clothe those who need clothes, keep the food towards the poor, and bind the wound those who, who are, who are wound, and visit those, visit those people in the prison, and visit their hospital, visit their home, we, we lay down our life to help our Lord, His Lordship, to sacrifice our life, to help them, visit them, and pray together, and take their suffering as mine, as my, as my child. And that's the way we worship our garment, worship our cloth through act of righteousness. But if we don't, we are naked, we are wearing dirty clothes in the parable, in the banquet. The, the king said, those men who don't wear clean garment at the wedding banquet, God said, the king said, threw them away. So that even if we attend Sunday service, we attend every morning service, every evening service. If we don't practice Jesus' teaching as a living sacrifice, we don't know. We don't know if we are ready for the rapture, if we are ready to enter his kingdom. So they're blind. If blind follow blind, Jesus said, they will fall in the pit. So they're choosing the right teaching, right good shepherd, choosing the right Bible study, right session is so important because you just follow the blind. The blind lead you into the pit. So the spiritual teaching, spiritual the session, through spiritual session, spiritual Bible study, people receive healing and miracle. God, God's presence, Lord always cast out the demon, cast out demon, heal the sick, and baptize them by Holy Spirit. So the Lord transformed me when I obeyed 
when I when I confessed my sin, he exposed my sin and he exposed my weakness. When I turn around, Lord, help me, help me, rescue me. He led me into Bible study for seven years. And after four years, he set up this YouTube channel for a ministry sharing the testimony. And I saw many transformation through Bible study within all those ladies and their, their family members. And when I, when I was waiting for the lady who coming to Bible study, I was outside her house and I heard this message. Here's, here's pride of Christ. So I was there for God's Lord, his vehicle to take her to the, his class. So there I was like an angel driving her, driving her to the class. I heard that voice, here's pride of Christ. And so that this is the time we see sun's activity and I saw God's judgment upon cult, those uh, wrong, those false prophet, false, um, false teachers, false messiah. And so that God can rescue the worshippers. We will go out to rescue those worshippers and taught them. We will teach them. We'll teach them the truth so that they will be ready, not just to rely on attendance. God bless you. See you again. Bye.